Hey guys, good morning. Well, the sun is out and uh, the sky is nice and blue. There's some scattered clouds and I can't resist heading up to McKinsey Pass one more time to give it a little better presentation before I head home to Portland. Now, interestingly enough, in about 45 minutes, there's going to be a pass by the International Space Station. So let's run up there, set up the antenna, see if we can make a contact, and then I'll give you a, a quick tour again of the D. Wright Observatory up on McKinsey Pass at about 5,300 feet. But this time uh, we'll have a little better weather, which will be nice, and you'll get a little better view. All right, on the way out to the car, we're going to take a quick look at my antenna bag, and you can see how I'm set up for uh, hopefully a quick deployment of that antenna and getting the rig up on the air. All right, well, I am using a uh, satellite communications bag from County Com. It makes a great antenna bag. Everything is uh, laid out there, very quick access. And there you can see my antenna and the painter's pole. And just a little quick view. Yeah, we got you Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, portable, McKinsey Pass, 5,300 feet. <laughs> Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray. Uh, David, are you out there in Oregon? This is Dover Bravo 1 Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station. Over. This is Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray. David, and I'm operating portable on McKinsey Pass at 5,300 feet. Victor Alpha 6, Delta X-Ray, we got you loud and clear. Welcome aboard the Space Station, Dover Bravo 1 Sierra Sierra. Kilo Fox 7 operating portable on McKinsey Pass, 5,300 feet. Name is David. David, it's great to talk to you. Uh, uh, welcome aboard the space station of Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. This is Colonel Doug Wheelock aboard. Very good talking with you, sir, and 73. 73 to you as well. Hope you had a great weekend. I had a great weekend trying to contact ISS, and you made it a great one. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, one more time, let me recap. So we made a quick trip up to McKinsey Pass. It's really windy up here. Yeah, a little bit clearer than yesterday, so I'm going to take you up again, and, and we'll take a look at the D. Wright Observatory. But uh, got the antenna rapidly deployed, and we were on the air within minutes. I, I think by the time I parked got the antenna up and was on the air. It was less than five minutes, no kidding. And within a couple of minutes, we had uh, Colonel Wheelock talking to us. Um, and what an exciting thrill to hear not only my call sign, KF7ETX, but my personal name, David. So um, that really meant a lot to me. That was a thrill. So we got another pass coming up in about 90 minutes. They circumnavigate the globe about every 90 minutes traveling a little more than 17,000 miles per hour, and they're about 205 miles above when they pass. And when they make a pass from horizon to horizon on a good pass, you're typically talking about a 10 minute window. So not very long. But anyway, that was a thrill, and I am glad I made the trip up here today. That made my weekend. And uh, Colonel Wheelock, if you ever see this video, thank you so much. You have added a degree of excitement to a new hand that you'll never know. <laughs> um, I'm excited about that. So 73 to you, and thank you for your service to our country, as well as your dedication to amateur radio operators. And um, I know you get barraged with call signs up there, and it has got to be a bear to copy all those call signs and repeat them back to us. And um, we appreciate it. Thank you so much.